check, check, check. All right, now we have audio. The views and opinions expressed on this show are those of Greg and Justin and do not reflect the official position of the TikiCon producers. <laughs> I know that's kind of dumb. <laughs> Aloha! Aloha! Welcome everyone to the Greg and Justin show. Cheers! We are drinking 1944 Mai Tais because we finally got some more shot from BG Reynolds. Oh, and hey, we got a whole bunch of people watching. Um, I see my uh, coworker Mark is here. Cheers, Mark. Um, we've got Martin Kate with us. Uh, Martin, we are using the Smuggler's Cove recipe, although we used what we had in house for rums. Um, Aloha, Joe. Oh, yes. Tips for Holly Paley. So we're doing this thing where whenever we make a drink at home, we, we put a tip aside for the bar that we would like to be drinking at. And uh, usually when we're in, we're drinking tiki drinks, it's um, it's usually Holly Paley. Yeah. And then we will be making a donation. You can just go up to their website, go into their store, and uh, give them some, some love. Um, <laughs> Martin, we're not drunk enough for that yet. <laughs> Has he been talking to Sarah? <laughs> <laughs> right. So uh, cheers to you. It is Aloha Friday. Um, thank you so much for all the Aloha Friday photos. It's incredible to see them all. And I, I know that we're making a difference. People are, we're getting people to actually get dressed in the morning, a reason to get up and put a shirt on um, and hopefully, hopefully, uh, you know, bathe and do some of that other stuff. <laughs> Got you to put a shirt on today. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we also, so uh, this is going to be a really short show. Um, we weren't even really going to do one tonight, but... We are moving the show to Wednesday nights at 7 Pacific. And the reason we're doing that is because there's a whole lot of competition on Friday nights. Everybody wants to do their happy hours on Friday night. So we're going to move it to Wednesday. Um, still going to be the same kind of stuff. We're still going to talk about Aloha Friday. It just won't actually be on Aloha Friday. Um, but we'll get more people watching, hopefully. Yeah. And we've been talking about doing a little bit of a different format um, as we when we relaunch on Wednesday, um, and that is bringing in some guests. Yeah. I mean, not virtually, not, yes, not in person, not sitting right here, but, uh, we've asked a few people to submit some videos. And so hopefully we'll be showing those, um, starting on Wednesday. Yeah. Got some people lined up for that. Yep. Uh, and, uh, also just wanted to reach out to all of you. And if you would like to submit a very short, like no, no more than 30 seconds, but a very short video and send it to us, um, just saying, hello, uh, what, what are you drinking? Give us a, a message of hope, you know, in this time when, when we're all stuck at home and wanting to get out to our favorite tiki bars, or just tell us what's the first thing you're going to do when isolation is done. Just make it really short and... What we'll do is we'll repost those on the TikiCon Facebook page, and the, uh, the the few best of the best will post here or we'll play them here on the show along with some of the other video segments. Yeah. Uh, so, um, we don't have much to talk about tonight. Uh, I did I did say last week that we were going to award the um, Aloha Friday Challenge winner from last week. So let's get on with that. The prize for for this week or for last week's winner is this really awesome B Rex pin. Uh, B Rex has got some great stuff up in his store. If you just go up to Google and search B hyphen Rex R E X and then put the word Tiki after it because there's a few other weird B Rexes you don't want to find. Um, and then B Rex Tiki, Google that. You'll find his web store. It's re he's got some amazing stuff. Really good stuff. Prices start at 10 bucks, cheap gifts, you can really brighten up someone's day. So, uh, the winner of last week's Aloha Friday, here she is. This is, um, where's my notes? Uh, this is, <laughs> uh, this is Jen, um, I had it, it's, one one N Jen one N Jen Bain I believe is how she spells her name on Instagram. She is a puppeteer artist and tiki enthusiast. Uh, so Jen, these photos are great. We <laughs> I laughed out loud when I saw these, and that's a literal laugh out loud. 
Um, and then we also have a, uh, our runner up from last week is our friend Rob Kramer. He was hoping to be sending his Aloha Friday photo today from the Caliente Tropics. That's not happening. So he sent us this photo of him at the Caliente Tropics. <laughs> All right. You can tell we rehearsed a lot for this. <laughs> um, well, I mean, everything we're going to be doing is next Wednesday. Right. Tonight yeah. It was just, just a quickie. Yeah. Thing. We just wanted to say hi tonight. Um, have some drinks with you. Send a little love. Uh, one thing about the show next Wednesday or this coming Wednesday next week, uh, we're going to be giving away a $25 Holly Paley gift card. And the way this is going to work is we're going to, for everybody who comments on the video, we found uh, an app that will take all those comments and pick one name at random. So we'll have one person who commented, and it doesn't matter how many times you comment, it just picks one name. Each, or it just counts once. Uh, so please, next week, next Wednesday, tune in, um, comment on our video, and one of you will win a $25 Holly Pele gift card. Yep. That means the uh, Portland people are really going to be making sure that they comment. <laughs> That's true. We should probably have an alternate prize for someone who's not local. Right. For, or offer. I mean, if it's someone who's coming to TikiCon, they can use it then. Right. Or the next time they're in Portland. Right. Because we'll be honest, we don't know if TikiCon's actually going to happen in July. Um, but we, we, yeah, location based prizes, we really need to have an alternate prize. Sure. Which is why, so the grand prize for the Aloha Friday Challenge um, is it's either two of our Van Tiki mugs or it's a $100 Holly Pele gift card. Or there was one other thing. I can't remember what I said it was. Um, but we wanted to give people a choice because someone may have already ordered the mugs or someone may not be local and can go to Holly Pele. Uh, but you can find out more about that. Um, just go up to our website, tikicon.com slash Aloha Friday, and all the information for the Aloha Friday challenge is there. We're going to be donating a dollar for one dollar for every eligible photo that gets posted between now and July 31st, whether there's a TikiCon or not. Um, so let's go to the peanut gallery. Any, uh, any questions? Um, I see. Oh, Denise's fire drinker medallion is hanging on the Tiki at Holly Pele. Hmm. Uh, Sissy Von Roo says, I'm not sure what she's more excited to see reopen, Holly Pele or Disneyland. Uh, yeah, that's a tough one. Yeah. Um, they are keeping the, um, the, the, the light in Walt's apartment above the firehouse, they're keeping that burning during this time. Um, I wonder if Holly Pele is keeping, keeping the volcano burning, <laughs> keeping the light on. Uh, oh, looks like Damien just joined us. Christina. Oh no, Paul's here. <laughs> now the peanut gallery has arrived. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to you all. Um, yeah, like I said, this is a really short show, so I think we're going to cut it off here pretty soon. Um, but again, please tune in next or this coming Wednesday at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Pacific is when we will be doing shows, and we are going to keep doing shows until the stay-at-home order is has been rescinded, and we can actually all go to our favorite bars again. Yeah. Because at the moment, this is the only bar we have access to. Yeah. Well, and then maybe uh, we can do a. a a live stream from Holly Pele or somewhere. Oh man, that would be awesome. I'm hoping that we'll like get into this enough and feel comfortable enough and actually create these personas that, that we know people want to see and maybe keep going with it. We have busy lives. I never wanted to be a blogger. That we, that we want to uh, accomplish and do and things that take up time so well maybe it goes to a once a month show but i'm i'm really enjoying connecting with everybody this way i think it's really cool um sissy asks what are we drinking tonight these are 1944 mai tais with um we are using three star plantation three star and dr bird jamaican rum so we got some funk in there um, I worked at Trader Vic's for so long in 1944, it tastes completely different to me. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it depends on the rum. I mean, right. especially the, the, the Vic's 44. 
Great. It has yeah. a very distinctive flavor. Oh yeah. Oh Absolutely. man, and I miss that flavor. Yeah. We but, can get it. We can get it close. We can get it close. Well, we, but we just have to order some of the the royal amber the rum. royal amber rum. And you've and got to concentrate. I've oh, got yeah. to concentrate, but that's for the Trader Vic's, not the forty four. Oh, okay. Forty four was from scratch. Okay. And with lemon juice, not lime juice. Ah, the the behind the scenes secret. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. okay because they're not here anymore. We can we can divulge the secrets. <laughs> All right, take the Greg and Justin show on the road. <laughs> hey, we could even do one from Trader Sam's. <laughs> yeah, because I know you're so excited to go back there's again. Gonna be, there's <laughs> going to be a lot of money in the Greg and Justin show. I thought it was. Well, I thought we were going to change the name of the Justin and Greg show. We could. We could. <laughs> I mean, joking, joking. Alphabetical. If if you want to take the lead, on that. <laughs> joking, joking. No, unfortunately, I, I don't think that we'd be able to quit our day jobs by taking this on the road. I mean, you are the more flamboyant one of the two, <laughs> the one who gets up on stage and doesn't choke. Yeah. And yet here I am blabbing in, in front of a live stream <laughs> to anyone who will. Who doesn't have anything better to do on a Friday night? <laughs> you guys, there's other happy hours and web streams going on. Why are you watching ours? See, we need to just like pass the torch so that a bunch of people can go to Trader Sam's and go to all these places, and then they can do it. We can watch them. That's true. <laughs> there's room for other people's shows too. <laughs> what? There's other shows. Well, yeah, that's why. That's why we're moving it to Wednesday. Right. Right. Um, yeah. So Wednesday at 7 p.m. Um, Sorry, Neil and Carla. They were very disappointed. I know, I know. It's a cool day for them. but they, It's eight-hour time difference in the UK, and they they did the last couple shows. They did set an alarm and get up and watch it or stay up, but yeah. they can't do that on a weeknight. I, I understand. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm working full-time, too. And, uh, yeah, so. Considering how many people were doing Friday night stuff, it was like. You know, let's do it on a different night because I feel like that everyone's getting super stressed out about about actually like being able to watch and be and don't do it. I swear to God, I'm just gonna take that. It's thing. the Greg and Justin show. <laughs> that was that was for Joe. He says Greg has the bullhorn, so his oh, name goes first. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's gonna take the batteries out of that thing. <laughs> I'm going to throw out the trash. <laughs> At least I'm not Susan. <laughs> totally. Man, I wish I'd been on the tour with her that day. <laughs> or at least if somebody would have gotten video or something. I don't think anybody got video of her, did they? Probably not. It's all just burned in our memories. Right, they, didn't, they, couldn't, they couldn't get video because they had their hands on their ears trying to block her out. Two we guys, love you, Susan. Two guys in a Mai Tai. Hmm. Yeah, call it that. <laughs> Oh, I had someone... Uh, Do you not get that reference? No, I don't. Two girls in a cup? Oh, God. <laughs> bad, okay. bad, uh, Dennis. I did have someone um, call us the, uh, the Bob and Doug McKenzie of Tiki. <laughs> <laughs> what a hoser. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. They were actually funny. Uh, I don't know. We're just kind of dumb. Yep. And on that note, <laughs> on that note, goodbye, everybody. Uh. <laughs> All right, so uh, tune in next Wednesday. I keep saying next Wednesday. It's actually this Wednesday at uh, this next Wednesday. Th this <laughs> coming Wednesday, Wednesday, April 15th <laughs> at 7 p.m. Pacific. Every week. Oh my gosh, it's going to be the middle of April already. Uh, no longer tax day. Right. Uh, yeah, so see you in a few days. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>